I'm Anil Kumar and here is a multiple choice test question for you on limits. The question is, for what value of c will the limit x approaches 3 for x squared plus x plus c divided by x squared minus 5x plus c exist? c is a constant. Four options given to you are 6 minus 6, 12 minus 12. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, in such questions, the strategy is substitute 3 to denominator. So what we see here is the denominator becomes 0 when you substitute 3. Reason is that x minus 3 is a factor. Sorry. Let me rewrite this. So we can write this question as limit x approaches 3. Numerator is x squared plus x plus c and the denominator can be factored we are looking for a product of 6 sum of minus 5 so 3 and 2 both negative so it would be x minus 3 times x minus 2 now in this expression if I substitute x equals to 3 I get infinity in the denominator right so that means we have asymptote A vertical asymptote to be precise at x equals to 3. Now try to understand the question for what value of c will the limit exist? Now if you have a vertical asymptote then the limit will not exist so that means limit will not exist correct this is what it means but we want it to exist so what can you do that is possible if you have a factor of x minus 3 in the numerator also how will that change the situation well in that case we are looking at a whole not a vertical asymptote, right? Not a vertical asymptote. You understand the concept. Now, if there is a hole, then the limit will exist, right? I hope you got it, right? So that is the concept. Now, the second step is how to find the value of C knowing that X minus 3 should be a factor of this. So the idea is we can do long division or we can divide x square plus x plus c with x minus 3. Since we want this to be the factor, remainder should be 0, right? So let's divide. So if you divide, you get x times, we want to get rid of x square, x square minus 3x. When you take away, you get 4x plus c and then we'll do plus 4 times that gives you 4x minus 12 and when you take away you get c plus 12 right so the remainder is c plus 12 as we discussed remainder should be 0 right that is to say that c plus 12 should be equals to 0 or c should be equals to minus 12 you get an idea so if c is minus 12 then we'll have a factor x minus 3 in the numerator also right you can check so the answer we have already got and that is d over c equals to 12 now let me replace c with minus 12 what do we get we get x square plus x plus minus 12 that is minus 12 right now to get minus 12 we could factor this with x plus 4 times x minus 3. Do you see that? So x minus 3 now is a factor of numerator also. So this and that will cancel leading to a whole and therefore we will ensure that the limit will exist at x equals to 3. You get an idea, right? So that is how you should be solving such a question. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you to understand the very important concept. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.